U.S. Uh, Physics Olympiad, year 2012, U.S. APHO semifinal exam. Problem A4. Solution for this problem you can find in the uh, reference of the description below this video. Two masses M separated by a distance L are given initial velocity V0 is shown in the diagram. The masses interact only through universal gravitation. Questions A. Under what uh, conditions will the masses eventually collide? B. Under what conditions uh, will the masses follow circular orbits of uh, diameter L? C. Under what uh, conditions will the masses follow closed orbits? D. What is the minimum distance achieved uh, between the masses along their path? Solution. First, let's uh, write new variable big R, which equal to L over 2. That will be distance uh, from planet to uh, common center of mass in the uh, initial position. In these units, we can write expression for uh, gravitational force between these uh, two masses. That will be g m square over l square for using r this expression. So now we can replace this problem by rotation around center of mass as a new center of uh, potential. In this case, uh, potential energy of uh, the planet rotating around this center of mass equal this expression. Now we can write expression for uh, full energy. It will be potential energy plus uh, kinetic energy, which is uh, this one. Of course, uh, to answer for the uh, question A, we can use energy conservation and uh, angular momentum conservation. But this is the long way. Uh, we can use a shortcut here, because there is a known fact that total energy could be expressed through the half of semi-axis of big axis of uh, ellipses for which this planet rotates. Suppose that the planet rotates using this uh, ellipsis and uh, this point is center of gravity. In the uh, furthest uh, position, the distance uh, from planet to this center is uh, big R and in the closest position is just the radius of the planet. In that case, both planets will just touch each other in the closest position. And uh, using this geometry, we can count what is the total energy for this construction. That will be this expression. Or that will be uh, negative 1 over 4 g m square over small r, which is the radius of planet, uh, plus uh, big R, which is uh, initial distance uh, from planet to center of mass. And uh, now we can just uh, equalize these uh, two energies and uh, find the expression for velocity. This is our equation, and the square of velocity equal this expression. Or if we go back to L, we have uh, this expression. For exactly this velocity, these two planets uh, in the closest position just will touch each other. It means that for velocities uh, less than this expression, they will collide. That's the answer for question A. Question B. Under what conditions will the masses follow circular orbits of a diameter L? First, uh, let's uh, write the expression for gravitational force between these uh, two masses. That will be g m square over L square. But uh, from the other hand, uh, this uh, force which holds this planet on a circular orbit means that it must be equal to 
centripetal force m v square over radius which is uh, l over 2 and uh, from here we can find uh, what is the speed for circular orbit that will be square root from g m over 2 l that was answer for question b question c under what conditions will the masses uh, follow closed orbits solution a closed orbits will be when total energy must be less than zero that means that uh, potential energy plus kinetic energy must be less than zero if it's uh, greater than zero it means that on a infinite distance we have uh, still kinetic energy uh, let's write uh, this condition uh, we have total energy equal potential energy plus kinetic energy which is uh, negative g m square over l plus uh, two times uh, kinetic energy and uh, that this must be less than zero from here we can find that the uh, velocity must be less than the square root from gm over l that was the uh, answer for question c question d what is the minimum distance achieved uh, between the masses along their path to answer for this question we can just use a result when we did question a when we answer for question A, we uh, wrote this equation. Here, R was a uh, maximum distance, which is L over 2, and the small r could correspond to the smaller distance. And uh, this is the smallest distance, so we can count from this equation. Finally, we can count that the R at the minimum distance uh, must be equal to this expression or in the previous units there will be this one that was the answer to question D